unpack. I really want to do one of these stories. Down the road when I have time. Just send the I audio. Mean, don't use it if you don't use it. But like, we're, we'll use it. Okay. Rain will listen to it. I feel, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we'll call the whole thing. Like, call oh, it Jew. Call like your special. Has, we'll just call it the Jew. The Jew. That'll be the whole thing. It'd make me want to joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you just complain the whole time. Yeah. Uh, it's this position okay for you? I don't know. It's like it's hot in here, right? Should I put the air conditioning on, guys? If you're listening, excuse the air conditioner, but it's just too hot. Talk about your mom a little yeah. bit. Yeah, she's calling again. I just want to do my own thing. And at the end, you knock her period loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, you're bleeding all over me. This can't be sanitary. <laughs> everybody wow oh my lord i can't I, I i three million that's nutty that's nutty i i what if you know what i'm talking about i released a special called ari shafir jew just uh i guess 12 thir- 13 days ago and it's already got over three million views youtube.com slash ari shafir go check it out if you haven't seen it yet i assume most of you have already seen it i assume you have you there's you're my hardcore fans here at ari shafir skeptic tank podcast industries Three million views. Wow. I mean, it, it's, it's, if you don't know, it's my special. And, and it's my, not only my best special I've ever done, it's my best special I ever will do. I'm not capable of hitting that level again. Oh, no. I'm not going to fuck. I'm not going to work for, for five years on my next special. My next special, I can pretty much guarantee you, will be a hot loaded dog shit. It's going to be a collection of bits, like a Van Halen concert, instead of this one, which is Dark Side of the Moon. Yep, I do have it here. You're watching this on youtube.com slash Ari Shapiro. Why, why not subscribe, everybody? I'm close to 200,000 subscribers. Dark Side of the Moon. And now you're like, Ari, are you, are you comparing your special, Ari Shafir, to Jew, to one of the greatest albums of all time, Dark Side of the Moon? Yes, I am. In that both of them were performed by someone who Jews dislike sometimes. <laughs> and I tell you, did you guys see my Tuesdays with Stories episode? I go into the whole story about how I met the guy who made that album. It was a fun, fun night. Me, Duncan, Tony, Rogan. Fun night. Um, anyway, three million views, everybody. Thank you all for, if, if you donated, uh, the money's coming in. I probably got like 40% of it paid off now. I got the song paid off. I'm going to, should I go out with this song? No, I'm going to go. I found this album. By Satchmo, by uh, Louis Armstrong in in New Orleans. Oh, dude, I went to um, Mark Norman's wedding in New Orleans. And man, what a what a fun time. S- shit show. I mean shit show. To hang out with Sam Morrill and Stavi and, 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 and uh, Joe List a bunch. And just like, man, it was just a fun time. They, they put on a good, good wedding. New Orleans is, is the jam, dude. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of recovering. Oof. Let's start the episode, guys. Why, why even wait? As my as my as my present back to you for getting me to three million views and only I, I think I hit it in in ten days. Um, let's just start the episode today on the podcast from the girls got to eat. Both the girls got to eat podcast ladies come on and talk to me about dildos, about how to properly you know get off a chick, uh, um, uh, what kind of dildos to use, what kind of vibrators to use, um. You know, sex toys in general. Uh, girls have to jerk off, you guys. They do. You, you expect them not to, but why? Y- your dick's not doing it. You think your dick is special? It's soft. It's soft around the edges. A fucking vibrator? Hard all the way through. Rock hard every time. Your dick, you know it gets soft. Yeah. Not dildos, not vibrators. They stay the fucking tensile strength they always are. Is that the right word? Girls have to jerk off. Girls have to beat it. Girls have to beat. Girls got to beat. That's the episode. Girls got to beat. Raina 
and Ashley from the Girls Gotta Eat podcast. We're talking about uh, uh, vibrators, everybody. Uh, they brought one in. They brought a nice one in. I've used it. Um, smells like poop. Um, and it's great. Uh they're hilarious. What a fun podcast episode we did. So let's just start. Um, you know, I got dates. I'll tell you about them later. Dallas is coming up. That's the next one. Um, and the, should I say it? I, I don't have a date yet. The Beacon is coming in March in New York. A massive show. Um, Vancouver's on. Oh, I'll talk about it all. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Ari Shafir, Skeptic Tank, episode 490. Man, I really should learn these. Three? I guess 493. Girls got a beat off with Raina Goldberg. Is it Goldberg? Goldstein? I think Goldberg. And Ashley ha 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 Hazeltine. I, I think it's Hazeltine, but she, she says it's not. But I, I don't know, man. I don't want to mansplain, but like, I think I know how to pronounce your name better than you do. You know? Uh, three million hits. Seriously, thank you for everybody who, who who watched it, who told everybody. This Thanksgiving, you guys got to show your families. It, it, that's one of the coolest things about it. People are like, oh, I show my dad. My dad loves it. Dad's a degenerate piece of shit. And so is yours. So show your degenerate piece of shit dad who's probably cheated on your mom a bunch of times. Probably like three times. Even if you think your dad's like really like, you know, put together, he's probably cheated on your mom at least once. Probably tried two other times and failed. Maybe resisted three or four other times, if you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Your dad's a piece of shit. And pieces of shit love my new special, Ari Shafir Jew. Thanks for the comments. Keep commenting. Go back there. Comment again. The donations are piling up. And, um, and uh, man, if I pay it off, I'm going to have a party. Um, you can donate right on YouTube. You can donate right here on YouTube, too. But you can go to the special and do it there. Uh, the super thanks, PayPal, Venmo, any which way you want. Guys, let's start the episode. Ari right, Shafir's got back. Episode 494. Girls Got a Beat with Ashley and uh, Raina. Starts now. Really fun episode. Or do you just jump right in? Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't well, know. <laughs> do you intro us? We should we intro ourselves? Do I you know intro later. <laughs> yeah, I'll do an intro later, but like okay. we could we can do it right now. These are the girls gotta eat girls. Raina Hi. and Ashley. <laughs> Hazelton. Tyne? Not even close. Ashley Hazel? Hessel time. Hessel time. Are you sure, though? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. That's what we decided. Rain, I don't know your last name. Greenberg. Greenberg. I'm a fellow Jew, Ari. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a Sweet 16 birthday present? What does that mean? I mean, your I nose was... is not of a, of Jewish. <laughs> um, it's not. Why is it good or bad? Good. It's, it's not... small. Yeah. I yeah. I I really like my nose. No, I bought it like a tramp stamp when I was 18, but no birthday presents oh, for 16. All right. My body. I I got a nose job. You did? Yeah. I got Raina's 16th birthday gift. <laughs> You're not Jewish. Last year. Wow. <laughs> two years ago. She amputated uh, a Jewish two, nose. Two years ago. You got rid of your nose two years ago? Tw In the time I've known you? 2021. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. How was it before? Massive? Um, You know, it's funny because- Surgible? You, it's like, you think it's, I, well, not that I thought it was like fine because I got it redone, but when you look back, you're like- Ugh! <laughs> what was I doing? Why didn't anyone say anything? Why was anything? I living like that for so long? You yeah. really look so different. I think you look so beautiful. You have like an elite nose job, but it is so funny it when you look back nose. and you're like, I could have like my teeth. When you Google Raina Greenberg, the first thing that comes up is Raina Greenberg teeth, it's like Cardi B. Um, because uh, I got new teeth and I, I my you old got ones, new teeth. Yeah, I bought veneers, and I my old Whoa. ones were just like not cute. Also, I have to tell you, when you Google Ari Shafira, the first thing that comes it's up is dick. dick. Yeah. What? Do you know that? First of all, can I just un first of all first of your first of all. That's what you search. <laughs> so I actually that was thinking on my way searching. over here today. That's a mixture of like, everybody <laughs> and you. No, I think I have searched Ari Shafir dick before. But weren't you I guarantee if my mom searches Ari Shafir, dick does not come ha call up. Call her right now. <laughs> call her right now. <laughs> Let's all do I'll do Google. And see yeah, what Google comes yourself. Up. I probably have Googled your dick before. I think I bet it's gonna I say probably dick. have. Oh, I see. Like, well, weren't you? It's just... a mixture of what you Google and what everybody. Googles. You know the I'm algorithm. Telling you, I'm telling you, it's a past. It's a, do you, weren't you um, doing shows with your dick out though? I have. Oh, okay. Ari Shafir, this is not complete. Oh no. Ari Shafir, yeah, you do yours. Space. Oh yeah. For rain, from just go into Google. Like Becky, you're positive. I took a photo. Oh, I, put, I took Google. a photo of it for okay. you to to share, and then Ashley can look a, up hers. Outline of my dick. It's not an outline of your dick. It's just like you talk about it a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, up. mine's Ar- Arshavir Kobe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the second one it's going to be. Yeah. Arsh- I mean, I'd love to be knocked out of that other stuff with Dick. What happened to Ari Shafir? Wait, Dick, is, Dick isn't even on mine. <laughs> it's you, Raina. It's you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have Googled Wait, Ari is, Shafir Dick before. I, I wonder why. Fine. Is there a cat? Do you have a cat meme or something? Yeah, why I is look cat? Like a cat. That, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a thing? Okay, cat, this is very exactly funny. Like you're right. It is like what your personality, because mine is like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I did actually recently, I, I, well, I mean, Kobe, we're not going to go down that road, but I had kind of, whatever special i did just watch your okay. special you, net worth inter- i'm interested yeah sure um As any woman net worth is. is not even on my list you don't care at all <laughs> it's so funny because now you're in, you're now you have your own money so you're like that doesn't matter anymore <laughs> Actually, give me that dick still matters to me that is so true <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like oh i could deal without a dick <laughs> no, I'm kidding. wait what is the hold on cat meme see that cat okay that's just me wow Right? Oh my God! Let me see it. It's that's your face. Oh wow, that is your face. Yeah, Monroe Martin. I made a shirt out of it, and he goes, "Did you Photoshop? Who made that picture?" I'm like, "No, that's just a picture. That's a photograph." And he's also, like, your no. dad is there. Ari Shafir, dad. What happened to Ari Shafir? Is my favorite. This is a real cat. What that's ha- not a Photoshop. Yeah, it's just a real cat, and it's a it's a whole genre. Of what if that was your cat? Let me I see should it again. get that cat. <laughs> Isn't that so me? All right, it really looks like. <laughs> do you know it's the nuts? Do you, do, I, well, I don't really love animals with human features oh yeah like there's a do you go to boris and horton oh yeah oh i've seen you there yeah which no shade i love it there I'll, I'll, you don't no i love boris and horton but boris is a little scary looking <laughs> the dog have i met Bor- have i met him he looks into your soul i have left when he's walked in <laughs> he really, really the dog the dog, the dog. comes no, and you leave he's he, the way he looks at you you're it's like scary. he's a human it's too Whoa. much. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't like dogs with reality, blue eyes. But not, it's like you're going to need far away or or exactly human. Yeah, or <laughs> like the cat. But I don't like dogs with blue eyes. Like I just, I want you to look like a dog. Your dog stares me into the eye in the eyes. I feel like he like understands me. My dad's dog too, but it's not creepy. This Boris is creepy. This is a different one. <laughs> I don't, I love Boris Have and Have you Horton. met Horton? I can't remember. Is Horton a dog? Yeah, they're, it's both the, dogs. It's the uh, dog or the dad and daughter team that own it and i love them they're open up in uh brooklyn oh i mean no 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 coffee shop is more profitable than that place it's great you used to go creep there before you had a dog didn't yeah, you i would creep i would pretend like he's around here somewhere <laughs> <laughs> and i would just get the free treats just... i do think i saw you in there with, with that pre-dog <laughs> yeah i get yelled at once in a while like don't feed my dog treats i'm like well why is your dog fucking here in a treat place <laughs> I, I don't know it is really weird to go there when you don't have a dog. I used to go Fair. sometimes in the morning and just sit there. Yeah. It's weird. It's good energy. He says it's the happiest place in New York. Yeah. And it is. It absolutely is. I can't go when I'm hungover. There's been a lot of Sundays. We have a friend. Yeah. 95% of the plans she makes me is, do you want to just come to Boris and Horton with me and my dog? I'm like, can we just do something else sometimes? If I'm hungover, I can't be in there. It's, it's an issue when dog owners are too much like uh, people owners, like parents. And they mm-hmm. just bring their thing everywhere. And you're like, dude, dude, we're not doing that right now. We're mm-hmm. at a bar. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. We're not making all our plans based on your shit. Yeah. It's it isn't it's not a child. Like the the reason why you have a dog instead of a child is because you can leave it home. Yeah. <laughs> the yin yang ring. <laughs> very, I've been meaning to ask you about emotional. that all day. Yeah. <laughs> very spiritual. This is new for her. I've never <laughs> seen this before. I, don't I know. Got, I just like got it in Denver in this, this like shop. Well, do you guys, is it weird? No. I, I mean, was, it's shit I, I was into in it. seventh grade. That's, but all that's back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, really? Like, I just, I love, yeah, not the 90s where you was that? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. It was like, the 90s. All of it's, I just remember, I love nostalgic stuff. So we're dressing like we used to dress back then. Yeah. I love a yin yang. come around. Yin yang. I love it. I got, I just got an evil eye. So I thought maybe you wanted to, like, you know. Uh, well, are, nice. are you into that stuff? Are you like a yoga person? No, I do fake yoga. Oh, that's a joke. What does that mean? It, I bear, I've done it a few times and I just teach classes, but I don't know how to do any of the moves it. really. People pay you money to come no, to your online. Fake Real yoga. yogis don't charge. <laughs> you... <laughs> There, okay, there is so much judgment in the yoga really? community. <laughs> About really? There's yoga mo- There's a yoga, yoga shaming? I'm a, I'm I'm a yoga charge. enthusiast, but the community can be a little crazy. Yeah. With a lot of You're judgment. Not to charge. Real yogis don't charge. The ones in India that fucking call up snakes out of buckets or whatever. How do they make money? <laughs> uh, they get donated. They take donations, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. it's not you're not paying for the class. You're just giving. Yeah, a donation. but now it's like mandatory donation and like shady. Not yoga with Ari. <laughs> yoga with Ari. Over 100 classes online right now. There's I a- get to some of the moves. 
<laughs> is it a comedy? You tell jokes? I tell jokes during is it. Is your dick out? No, my dick's not been out. My balls have sneaked out before. We've had to blur those. Uh, you know, some of these moves, you know. What do the real yogis think of dick out yoga? <laughs> They're impressed. But like, uh, but but like, yeah, I'll do a couple moves that I'll get, but I'll compare stuff. So me and Bobby Lee were doing stuff and you like, we just do it like, we was like, like Mexicans digging up. Like digging, whatever, like break. I don't know. We just do. That's what you call the move. Yeah, certain ones. Like, what would this be like? How can you compare this to the Holocaust? Just okay. It's yeah. offensive yoga. Yeah, and then I shoot in weird spots. Where do you shoot? A little bit in Tom Couture Park, but I shot a bunch in Ecuador, in front of like cow pastures and like Kay. in front of waterfalls on suspension bridges. A hundred classes. All right. Well, this is what I'm doing this afternoon. I mean, it's access. <laughs> it's this accessible is how yoga. Gets into yoga. It is accessible yoga. I, I'm not one of these people. Like, it's not about like. Clear your mind, body. Fuck all that. I don't know any of that shit. Here are the stretches. Try to get as close as you can. Okay, yeah. can we go back up to mandatory donation feels, what's the word? Like Wrong. A, like a payment? Or like a- um, sure, sure seems a lot like a payment. What's the word read money? They've it's like re- a thing that's not right. rebranded that you have to pay me. A mandatory donation. Those two things don't go together. Yeah, yes. exactly. So what's the word? I'm Oxymoron. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you. It really Oxycon. is, though. It's just, I mean- it's such bullshit. Don't call it a donation if it's mandatory. It's a payment. Yeah, it's a payment. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? For your taxes? <laughs> no, you're you're charging me. All right, well, I already worked out today, so I'm just going to watch this just for fun purposes later. Yeah, Nate Bargatze saw it, and he goes, hey, I finally saw one of your yogas. I, I didn't. I thought you were actually teaching yoga. That's what we thought. That's and then I, I heard thought. you doing like a, a Holocaust joke or something about like blowing your mom, and I'm like, oh, right. Why would I think you'd be doing serious yoga? <laughs> Well, we were on the way here deciding what to bring you, and Raina was like, let's bring him a massage oil because he's into yoga. I was like, what does that even have to do? <laughs> no. But then we were like, let's bring the lube because he has a big dick. This is what... Thank you. They, don't cut that. Ari, right, uh, how big this is, is your dick? I mean... Don't, I don't really know. I really don't. Raina, Raina will take a look. <laughs> <laughs> is it like... Is it a problem? I've always... No. I've just always gotten nice compliments on it. I've never been like uh, focused on it. I always used to think it was like small because every guy's like a little bit... Well, you're, you're also young. so tall. So I... Yeah, I thought it was small. And then some lady I, I, I was hooking up with in college, she was like talking about some guy with a small dick. I was like, is mine small too? And she's like, what? And I'm like, I don't... Oh, because you're really young. Know. You're not like running around looking at other guys' dicks. Yeah. But I... How tall are you? Like 6'5"? 6'2", 6'3". Oh. In my mind, he's 6'5". He's you taller. You do have 6'4 like, and 6'4". Six, six, yeah. Don't cut that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have this whole thing of guys that because i've like hooked up with a like i used to just in college hooked up with like a lot of athletes yeah, and nice they nice. guys that are so big if their dick is proportionate it's just too big but guys that are so big that have normal sized dicks it looks so small like i, I right, heard this nfl player say like i have a good dick but it looks like you hung the mona lisa in the hoover dam it's just not impressive wow what a good metaphor i, thought, I love the metaphor but wow. it's just you see it and you're like oh my god it looks so tiny compared to your on body this huge mm-hmm. on a guy that's like six eight but like Shaq is proportional and he's just fucking blowing chicks up i'm a have huge you seen his Shaq dick? fan what you seen his dick i've dreamed about it <laughs> I'm sure it's something. Everyone's dick looks huge near me. I have little hands. I'm a small little person. I'll make even the most medium sized dicks feel huge to you. Like medium. I had I dated my an ex of mine was like joked about his dick being like medium and I saw it, I was like, This is perfect. Yeah. Boyfriend size dick, perfect. Nikki Glazer did a bit about it once. She goes, she goes, every dick I've seen, you just tell the guy it's, it's, perfect. it's perfect. That was her special, was called. Yeah, yeah and she I remember, changed like, my life. Watching it, going, oh fuck, I've been told that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You know, it was one of those moments that, like, I heard the guys like tell you, like, you the the every guy was telling me the, like the best looking pussy they'd ever seen in their lives, but then I just realized guys just tell girls that yeah, a lot. It's awesome to see a pussy. You just <laughs> yeah. It could be disgusting. I can't, like, wow, interesting. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. If I say uh, you have a perfect dick, I mean that. I'm not saying that if I don't like it. Yeah. She's a woman by her word. <laughs> yeah, not passing yeah. out compliments you haven't earned. Here's how I know it's a decent sized dick <laughs> is because every time a girl's like, you know, I've always wanted to try anal. I was like, we can try it. She goes, no. That is that's how, how you know. know. Yeah. That's how you know. Yes, the last person I dated, <laughs> I would let him toss that thing up my butt anytime he wanted. Really, get that pencil in there. <laughs> hey guys. Today's episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank is brought to you by sheathunderwear.com. I'm naked when I'm doing this ad read. And the reason is quite simple. Because I shit my pants. That's right. I'm a grown man. And I have questionable eating habits. And I do a lot of drugs. And as a result of those glorious things, I shit my pants uh, more often than most would. I'm a 48-year-old man. I have no kids. And I shouldn't have any kids. In fact, I've had a vasectomy. But as a result of this lifestyle, I often have poopy in my undie poos. 
And the result is messes. Lots and lots of messes. So the one underwear brand that I choose to use is the underwear that keeps my shit in. Sheath underwear. And if you use the promo code Ari at checkout right now, you can get 20% off your order. That's right, sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code Ari and get 20% off your order. That's 20% less diarrhea running down your legs. It's 20% less chunks running into your socks and shoes. Yeah, I'm Ari Shafir. And those sheath actually has a pouch uh, to put your balls in, to separate them from the side of your legs. It's actually quite nice for hiking. What's even better is when you're on a hike and you've shit yourself, it doesn't run down your legs. You will have to order more sheath underwear because if you're far away from a washing machine of any kind, eh, I'd say get rid of it. They're not $1,000. They're affordable. So get rid of them and get new ones. Sheath underwear keeps your shit in. And don't forget, use promo code ARI at checkout and you get 20% off your order. That's right. Sheath underwear. The only underwear guaranteed to keep your shit in your pants tucked in nicely so you don't ruin your whole day just because you live your life. Sheathunderwear.com. I'm Ari Shafir, and I endorse this message. My friend had that. He said he had t- uh, some story about a chick. He was like, he accidentally put it in her butt, didn't realize, and then another story, and he goes, these women. I'm like, no, no, you. It's hard to get in a butt. <laughs> it takes a it's lot of accidental. effort. It's really hard. Yeah, yeah. It's both people's real like helping. This is very funny that, guys, this is their test now. I feel like guys are sweating thinking about asking the question because then they'll know the answer. Like, should we try anal? And she's like, totally, absolutely. <laughs> Damn it, but cool. That's how you Ukraine's guys did <laughs> do not you... do anal with you. You look like you'd be too good at it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do, do you guys ha- like anal? Well, I've never, I'm going to guess. I've never done it. I'm, hold- I'm saving No, yes. I'm saving, Why do, I'm saving I'm that whole anal? for marriage. What? I'm saving that whole for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about us says she doesn't do anal and just, I do? It's pretty, it just does. It's, it's a just vibe. Giving, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I I don't. I it's not for me, but I would like to enjoy it more. We we're talking about it on an episode earlier today. Like I nobody like has ever like eased me into it by like playing with a butthole a little bit. So like, I like I'm, butt stuff. Yeah. More than Raina. Yeah. You like tongue of the. Butt. I like t- anything. Whatever. Like you can finger tongue, prayers, you can prayers eat to my, the butt. Huh? Prayers to the butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I beseech the old uh, anal. <laughs> yeah, get famous. in there. Yeah. I love it. I love full prayer hands. You guys can do this in your yoga class together. But yeah. I don't like. But I've never done anal. But I whatever else is fine. That's a move. You could, you know this move where you go like this and like and like stretch that way with mm-hmm. your leg out, and I go like you're looking to jerk off in public, and you gotta look behind you if anybody's watching. Wait, nope. that's how you jerk off in public? Yeah, where it's like you want to jerk off and like, oh, is anybody What scenarios do you need to use this move when so you need to jerk off in public? The way he just public? did that reminds me of a time Rain and I were in a bar and yeah. she was giving this guy... <laughs> <laughs> she was giving this guy giving so hand job an over-the-pants the hand job. Over the pants. <laughs> and her leg was up like this and she was smiling at me the whole time. She had locked wow. eyes at me. And I was like, she's just so happy. Yourself. That's I like was... when Bandit gets a toy. He's like, check this one out. <laughs> you weren't here when it came, but... She was like, what's she smiling so and your much about? shoulders just going up and down. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I hadn't hooked up with this guy yet, like, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to, like, go home with him, and I wanted to see what he was working with. So I just, well, over-the-pants hand job in the club. <sighs> oh, man. Justin Martindale took me to a gay bar, and me and Nick Yusuf to a gay bar in um, in Austin. We were there for South By or something, and we saw this, a guy standing up over another guy, and just talking, and then they, they were just talking, and the guy goes, okay, and he just reaches in, grabs his dick, and goes... Like that, and they just keep talking. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm clear. He was like, "No, I have a big dick." It's like, "Yeah, everybody says that." He's like, "Go ahead." And he's like, "Totally." Oh, yeah, I guess so. I would let somebody. Yeah, I get it's it. Such a different. I went to. Re- I was on a date, and we ended up at the the gay bar, a gay club yeah. in Delaware, it's so and fun. it's like at a. It's a, a gay cl- like club play. Like yeah, at a <laughs> beach town, so it just so everybody's Dewey? naked in, in Rehoboth. Damn. Yeah, I mean the same. The They're the same. Rehoboth is gay. No, Dewey's trash. We love, what, we love he just family. walk all this back. He, do you know he's from Maryland? Oh. So he like yeah. knows the, he's part of the culture. Okay. Where are you from? Delaware. Oh. Dover. Where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh. Oh. I just appropriated the culture. <laughs> but it was like, all of it was like so sexy because it was just so many like half naked dudes yeah, and they're they all over it. each other. Oh, they don't, they, they don't, there's no lines. It's so I can totally see that. I can see, uh, obviously, so someone's work, like, I have a big dick, and you're like, let me see. That would work. No, gu- Almost no guy would say, if you go, I don't want to go home with you. I don't think, I don't want to go home if you have a small dick. Can I just touch it? <laughs> They'd be like, yeah. 
Absolutely. Okay, but you gotta like get it hard. Also, yeah, that's a problem like, too. Like, it's not presentable right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like to see you like this. Well, I just, I mean, I do a whole bit about this guy that I hooked up with um, on the road. That was like the grow. I've never seen a grower like this in my life. I, f- I really thought it was a micro penis. It was just teeny tiny wow. in my hand. Yeah. Like I was like jerking him off like this. Like, oh. It was shocking. <laughs> I was like getting scared. Like I was wow. like, I, not in like a body shaming way, but I was like, I don't know what to do here. Like, what do I do? And he was, he had a huge dick. Really? Like, I i feel like I was telling people about it and they were like, yeah, she dicks grow. I'm like, not like this. Like, no, we were in the car. Understand. She couldn't talk. She was like, you don't understand. I need to talk about this for like a long time. I've never seen anything like this. I kept being like, yeah, dicks grow. And she was like, you don't get not it. Not like that. Not- I, the smallest I've ever seen mine is in the bath <laughs> after a while. And it was only head. It was, was this- stomach and then just only head. How did head. that get? I don't get it. Can we How talk does about that this? happen? We got to ask the urologist. There's that much yeah. skin. I just went in there. I, I don't. I don't. I was like, "Where did it all go? <laughs> oh. Where the fuck does it go?" <laughs> right. Was this only head? Was, was this, this like only head, or was it just like small? And it like, was just like a tiny little like worm. Mushy worm. Yeah. Like when normally, like when like I put it in my mouth, I was like, "What am I doing with my life?" Like I was like, "I shouldn't have to do this." I've put a limp dick in it my mouth. Out. It was then, so degrading. But it must be nice to see the growth. Like you did that. I that's my joke. I say I felt like a proud mother. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like I was, I don't want children, but I was like, I did that. I created that. Uh-huh. So did. much labor. You're in it together. <laughs> Having a half hard dick in your it mouth. It did though, feel is like that was the most work I put into anything in my life. <laughs> and we had it shows that all week. I have two companies. <laughs> you <have> two companies. <laughs> we had done theater shows every night that week. L. A. San Diego, San Francisco. That was the hardest I worked. <laughs> Remember the next day we were driving back and I was like, great, I'm so exhausted. She was like, Ashley, you run the company. We run the company, but let's just not I was work like, for you're the day. The, you own the company. Let's just take the day off. And that was why I was so tired. Um, what? Uh, we just got to get into this though. We're yeah. going too far. I want to get into sex toys. Okay. Let's talk about it. You guys have a fucking company. We have a fucking company. That's very cool. We have a fucking company. You yeah. have a fucking yeah. company. And yeah. an app so that we can pair it the, the toys pair to the app it's erotic audio explain this so um uh, the whole company like is old... called vibes only and, vibes only and it is a whole line of pleasure products so we have this vibes only l- so lubricant. lube blowjob gel massage wait, oil. wait 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 what's blowjob gel it's, isn't that labor? just the, sh- the saliva from the deep back crevices or but throat? it tastes like mango or vanilla or passion fruit coming so you soon spray it in your mouth no, you put it on, on the, the dick, dick a little bit. Just two little People, drops. We have DMs I saw one last night that was like, this has changed my whole life. Really? Yes, because yeah. girls don't... A lot of people are like, this experience isn't nice for me. I don't enjoy this. I don't want like a musty dick in my mouth. But if you make it taste like Fair. a mango... A post-basketball dick. Yeah. Are, are you guys lube people? Yes. Big time. I mean... Really? I mean, I guess... Does, isn't it like... I mean, I have enough... I have a natural lubricant, but I feel like I can only get like really wet once in a like night. Interesting. What about just like... Like hey, it'll come back, but I mean, especially like if, if you're you've drinking. been drinking. If I'm oh, drinking, yeah, I'm a yeah, big lube person. Uh, 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 yeah, if uh, I'm not drinking... Weed I mean, also? I'm, yeah, so I just feel like it weed. helps if you're going all night. So just pour a little in there and like go for it. I mean, also just feel... It's also... If you have a big dick, I mean, it is helpful. Like I mm-hmm. was... I was having sex with that guy actually, and I was like, "It's starting to feel a little painful." That you don't want in your mouth. Yeah, you weren't going to stop me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I really wasn't. I was like, "What's about we don't to happen?" Care. Like, Damn. Uh, okay, so loot people. That's fine. Okay, so like you'll go to the app. You'll choose like a character. What do you mean we, character? Like, oh, so there's story stories. There's stories, and like this, this is when I got into porn. It was before you could actually get a picture. It took forever to download a picture uh-huh. with dial up, mm-hmm. and so the stories you could it's just erotic stories. Yeah, I used to read a lot. And then I Dan Soder has like a funny joke about like when you used to like watch porn load and like part of the tit would load and like one nipple would load. And you're like, good enough, I can get started. Yeah, I can get like started. Cinemax. As you're reading, yeah. like I pulled over, I my my, my tire yeah. broke. And I'm like, how long can I edge myself before like, <laughs> I just I see your oh. belly button and I just come. Dude, edge is so underrated. <laughs> it's just like being close, I'm like nah, not yet. Can We're you, this. I can only do it when I'm high. I can only like edge because like otherwise if I'm sober, if I'm going to come, I'm going to come. If I'm high, high though i can really go the distance Whoa. yeah i also just i think it's great but then i feel like with women sometimes you just like you don't do you ever feel like you just you you miss the orgasm miss the it, boat yeah it passes by like you a sneeze it's if you, you don't s- get to if you stay up through like a sleeping pill too you go over the hump you skin, you're like now i can't yeah sleep. you're like uh-huh. i miss the window i get that where it's like where it's like <laughs> if some chicks like come in my mouth 
And then it's like, you're fucking. And then it's like, oh, I'm going to come. And then she takes too long to like get down there. She's like, okay. And she stands up and she does her hair. I'm like, oh, no, no. I meant I'm going to come. <laughs> like, And then she like goes down there. And then it's like, uh, it's, it's done. The moment's over. Yeah. So this one, we brought you one. You put this in your like Butter partner's such? panties, okay. and it's oh. got like a magnetic clip, and so then you, you, you con- and then you control then it. You can control far? it, yeah. From the app. So we have an app. Oh, that- while they're at work and such. <sighs> so that's, that's coming, coming in like soon. a month. Oh, Mister, Mrs. Gray. As long as you are Bluetooth connected, um, so like if your girlfriend was upstairs and you were downstairs, you within within reason, you can be on the same Bluetooth. Is that charger? That's the charger. So I already turned, yeah, but I can do in. it now from the remote here. So really. This die. Die if this died. Oh, it doesn't have a charge. Oh, it might be dead. Wait. We can, we'll we can charge it. We'll, we'll do it at the end. Okay, let's yeah. see right now. Wait, they got this thing. She might be able to get it working. Yeah, it might be. It, it, this one might, might have been like in the studio for a minute. Wait, we'll what did you guys, why did you guys do a, why did you guys get a. Uh, why did we start a sex toy company? Yes, that's the question. Uh, Ashley can speak to it. Oh, I mean, we just we were always like, what should we do next to like capitalize on the audience and that we've built and the brand? Um, do you want me to plug this in next to me? I can also. Okay. Uh, that's smart. And it was like a natural fit, and then. Um, yeah, can I say you guys have a great podcast? It is a lot of fun to do. Um, but when I met you guys, it was like early Me Too, and and <laughs> and all I knew was like it, it said girls in the title. And I was like preparing a defense of Louis C.K. for whoever these liberal ass fucking, you know. <laughs> well, we recorded with you down the street in Ashley's original apartment where we started the podcast. Original and- dog, bad dog, glad it's gone. Oh, no, shut up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And where yeah, are we? Do you love that dog. Was, you do overstayed dog. your welcome. We were yeah, like, is he ever going to leave? Uh-huh. You were just on the floor with the dog. Yeah. We had had a lot. We to- we point. came back from D.C. that day, right? We like got off the train from either D.C. or Boston. We're like, can we cancel this guy? <laughs> well, I, Raina was the one that wanted to have you. And that, yeah. She's but then interested. I met you guys. You guys are both like. <laughs> <laughs> We're both what? <laughs> I was Forget watching it. this comedy special one night in bed at home, and I was like, "This guy's hot. We should get him on the podcast." <laughs> and it was your one about not wanting kids. And I like even better. <laughs> uh, yeah, He's even a pull better. I was sure. like, "That's crazy. I don't. I don't either." Um, and then we had you on the show right down the street. Yeah, but it was hella fun and sexual. It Thank was you. fun, and then you did, you we you went really hard on mushrooms. Talking about it, like really being like, you have to do it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Have you done them? No. We're the, we're the last people I in America. Like I made the case. I know we're the last people that like haven't I'm, done them. I'm killing it. You know, I don't need to it's find need. anything. That's like going like this like, new Chinese place opened up down the street. It's like I'm doing quite well in my business. Well, do you believe that all the best Chinese places have 3.5 stars? Did you see this? Interesting. No. What about like, like a, a Gothamist article? There's a no. This this guy. This it was the, the Wall Street Journal actually. Oh. I don't know the guy that started it. I mean, he was an Asian man, and he was like, the best Chinese restaurants have 3.5 stars because if it's the one that like all the white people are going to and complaining about that like the service isn't enough or yada the ambiance, so it's for. not what you're in for. So he has a whole like it's an algorithm. It's not an algorithm, but I that's his theory. theory. I, like I love it. his theory. Yeah. yeah. This I, is the best neighborhood for stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, other than actually Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. Dirt Chinese is probably the best Chinese. There's a few cuisines that are like you don't want nice, you want shit. Mm-hmm. That they do it right. Chinese. What vibe wise? Chinese, Mexican. It's like what's an upscale Mexican a burrito is no, supposed to be there, on the there street. There are upscale Mexican places that are really fancy. Mexico City is actually the highest concentration of Michelin starred restaurants, I think, in the world. I don't want it. Really? Like I did the one yeah. in Flatiron. It's like a five course. Cosme. Yeah, it's fine. It was delicious. That's not how I would like to eat Mexican. Yeah. You know who has never been modernized and like brought fancy is Jewish food ever. True. That little Romanian place that closed. That There's, was dirt. Uh-huh. Well, Jew- Jewish no, food. Jewish, yeah. Jewish food. Just bagels like, and locks. Just breakfast. <laughs> yeah, it's always just breakfast. Well, it. you don't, but you don't have to. Like, it's brisket and like matzo balls. And there's one guy doing it in Philly. His name is Michael Solomonov. He has like a nicer Jewish restaurant that's like creative and modern. But I feel like this is the last yeah. cuisine no one's modernized. Generally, if you want to do a nice, Jewish restaurant is just tablecloth. And well, that's even what's that? I don't even know what get. that is. But is it because of the cuisine? It, it would be hard to elevate it. No, it's but you can say that about anything. Cheap, and they don't care. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> pretty special. Arch for Jew on YouTube right now. You can find about that and more. You could make like potato latkes, like fancy. You could. Brisket, you could do fusion stuff. Yeah. You Jewish fusion. Jewish uh-huh. fusion. Does you that, does you that can make it fancy? Yeah. yeah, faking. 
It's it's a Jewish away. fusion restaurant. <laughs> Fu- remember the fusion moment? Everything was fusion. Everything, oh, everything was, was fusion. fusion. And you couldn't tapas. just have a remember fucking meal. Tapas. Everything was tapas or fusion. You literally couldn't have a meal. Everything was like Japanese Spanish fusion. You're like why? Yeah, but why? Yeah, it was Asian and Mexican, Asian and Latino. They they love combining those two. The, what? the uh, sushi burritos. Oh yeah, no, sushi I burritos. I waited in line for hours to get a sushi burrito in DC when I was a food blogger. Remember, like ridiculous food blogger before I met as I met Ashley because oh, we both had like big followings. <laughs> well, we did start it with that in mind, that now, yeah. and then it just we didn't. Then you're like, oh, we're just people. Yeah, yeah. But food, I feel like when I was food blogging, there was like this trend of like making stuff that was so ridiculous and over the top, it just looked so crazy, but it was like inedible. The double down. What's the double down? Is that a burger? It's from KFC. It was like two chicken patties Rainer with a burger Rainer in the inside. <laughs> it was just for love fat KFC. Americans. What? I love KFC. I saw a box on the ground on my way over, and I was like, maybe. Ugh, you know who loves KFC? Joe DeRosa. Whenever he's like, I'm trying to get in shape at the end of the night for drinking, he's always going to stop by that KFC on 14th. <laughs> really? It's, he's just a stable there. It's good. It's a good one. It's a they great They know KFC. his order when he comes in. When he comes in, they're like, Joe, too much again? Because you know it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so wait so you got into this fucking dildo company so we decided to like launch these sex toys and then uh we were like what can we do that's different you know and yeah. people they'll buy one sex toy you know maybe once a year maybe maybe once every three years mm-hmm. so we were like what can we do um you only get a new sex toy when your partner and you break up it's kind of gauche to keep it for the next guy Am i, I don't think that's uh, i don't think that's bad well it's i think people buy it it's at the end of the day, we were like, "What can we do to draw people in even more?" So we 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 both are such enthusiasts of like dirty talk and teaching people how to do it more in the bedroom. Oh, I would love and, to know that. And it's so, so hard, especially with someone you already know. Yeah, because you can't be like, "You're a piece of shit. You fucking slut." I would like, love what are you that. Talking about, I cooked dinner. Right about I, that. I would. That's my. Um, if you call me, the more you call me a slut, the like better. Jewish fusion was. Strange. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck your dirty little Jewish pussy. But, I, yeah. but you can't get that with a boyfriend, though, can you? Yeah, you really? can. But I mean, it's it's hard to find somebody who's it's like, like your worthless doesn't go with I've committed to you. So I, this is something that I a friend of mine has been, <laughs> has been like talking to me about. I want to do an episode on this on like when that changes and you want your like loving committed long-term partner to like fuck you like a slut and yeah. they like don't want to do it they can't do it anymore especially they, after i th- can feel like you after not you, after you people have had kids they're like you're the mother of my you're raising my child that, yeah i think it's a real thing i think a lot of but people I are like i respect to, you i love yeah. you i, wanna, I don't want to well treat. that's not fair you were supposed to be able to have both i had both my last relationship but he didn't have any money so there's yeah, trade-offs no <laughs> he goes he you're worthless a- and you're like takes one to know one <laughs> You're on unemployment. What, what the fuck are you talking about? I turned around and I was like, about? you are. <laughs> like, I make <laughs> money at least. <laughs> yeah, he like didn't really have a career. So I think he was just projecting. But do, I feel like this is something that w- women struggle with where they're like, can yeah. you just like do the things you did? Uh-huh. And they're like, I can't. I don't see you like that anymore. It's like, I think, it's a, yeah. I think it's a problem. And You're it's right, hard. And probably, yes, worse after kids. Spit in their mouth. I like, like that too. Right. He's like, you're a, mom, you're a mom. You're a mom. I know. <laughs> but like, I can be all those things, you know, like I'm capable of like going to the soccer field with my kids, Ew, but I don't want to have kids. But, um, and also being no, a dirty I, slut. In the I bedroom. think women are better at it is what I'm better saying. What? Doing this, like going between both, like oh, doing definitely. the really intimate, loving, committed relationship sex and the like dirty sex. But the, the women are, seem to be the one complaining that the men have that like Madonna They're and the probably. whore or whatever. Yeah. I've experienced that a lot where somebody just like really loves you and they're like I don't want to talk to you like this that's not the vibe you're like well it's not the vibe exactly like we're talking about like vacation plans <laughs> I can't like it has to be like all the time when you have like a real fucking slab on a fucking on the on a leash you know like a fucking scaz you know what? just what a are fucking you just a fuck only relationship with somebody oh, got it and then when you're like when they like see you out they're like go to the bathroom right now there's no like how you been it's like <laughs> you don't even yeah. do that at all it's also hard if you didn't start that way from day one. It's very difficult to pick it up. Forget oh my it. god, it's impossible. We always talk about this, like because you start a relationship and everything is the sex is great because you just are so attracted to each other at the very beginning, and then it fades away, and then you never develop the tools to like do the things that you want to be done now, and it's like a little bit late. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's right, never right, too late. Right. I mean, it's that's what therapy is. It's almost like you learn with the next person. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. I gotta make this next one right. But anyway, let's talk about these sex toys. Okay. okay, so we have the toys. We have all the accoutrement, the blowjob gel, and the lube, and everything. Massage and oil. then we want people to get that stuff. And then the toys Bluetooth connect to the app. And there's a remote, and there's erotic audio. Should we play you a so, snippet? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So it's erotic audio. So yes. it's some guys like, hey, I want to do this. To yes, you. like your oh masseuse fucks you. First person, real POV, first person. Yes. So, yes, it's wow. in second person. So they're talking to they're you. Talking so to it's you. not a story. It's like a you're the character. You're the other person on Can the other you, end. I'm just brainstorming here. Could you? Have eventually get it so good that you could be like what's your name and get not every name like but AI at least technology. like those those like license plate keychains like all those names you know <laughs> yeah. i know you won't get an ari you won't get a reina that would be really cool but you will everybody's get an ashley. ashley yeah but you'd have to um have it be like computer generated and we have like all these voiceover actors that mm-hmm. record all these things oh you're so hot ashley and i want to <laughs> <laughs> let's get that let's get that on the roadmap actually i really like that idea yeah Sweet. how about just getting fucked by a robot you so are I hit play on this it'll okay. ask if It'll ask to connect the vibe, so it is going to connect. Can I put it on my on my butt? Um, it's still charging. Okay, so now. And I finally have you all to myself. British. Seeing all those people at the bar, I fuck you. So it's going to go with well, it's going to go I with the story. That dress off. Let's get at a little. The end of it, down, pushing a little like deeper scene. with each stroke. Yeah, you love that, you nasty girl. I have a nasty girl. Oh, fuck. Are you about to come already? I'm close. You <laughs> naughty, naughty sub. I told you to All wait right. for my permission to come. Let's see. I can't yeah. wait. Let me push into you deeper, harder, while that plug stretches out your ass. Oh. You beg me to come. Yeah, this was the butt. Please? This is the butt play. Yet. I need to use your pussy more. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> He's got the best oh, voice. I can't hold back any longer. Oh, God. Oh. How long is this going to go? Ari, I can't watch this. Oh, my <laughs> okay, God. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. That's interesting. <laughs> I think it's it just a great video. Great <laughs> video. He's, um, he's, our, he's a four part he's he's our star who's that dude that's Conrad is that his real name no no, no we made it up we it's really fun been brainstorming this person. has been so fun like, I would love to we should have some comedian ones we'll do it pretty much we've talked about that like, like yo dude that gets some like real Philly trash accent <laughs> yeah I wanna suck that pussy and shit yes, and I'm I'm like, a, we, were, oh, we man, joked about that it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go down to the shore and just like get wild, you know. Well, we talked about having like a, 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 comedy <laughs> a funny part. Like, there's that guy that does. Norma would be great. The Philly would be so good. Norma would be great. I'll be like, hey, you're fucking pussy. <laughs> I can't even do it. Norman, I, Mark yeah. Norman, that'd be hysterical. He's like, wow. <laughs> oh, you're juicy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my whole body clenched up when you did that. Oh. No, I'm I think about different dirty comedians. Talking. I know. The well, problem we, is when you're a comedian, you really you you always want to be funny, but like this is a not funny moment. Don't yeah. go for funny. Mm-hmm. You have to just. be But we've serious. had some insane like bloopers. Like we were looking for like a Scottish accent for a minute for like a bartender story, and we got one that was like straight fat bastard. Like it was insane. Uh, I wish we had it. Do you have it? Somewhere, it's somewhere. It was the most unsexy thing I've ever. But we kind of thought of like, should we do a like blooper funny section? The Philly accent, I can't. The Philly accent would be good because we're both pe- Pennsylvania people. That uh, like would be Boston. fun just for just for like get. It wouldn't be the jerk off to, but it'd be a fun detail for people. I think it'd be hysterical. Like, and then Staten somebody Island. Somebody would be like, "This actually is some my thing. Staten Island <laughs> firefighter." It's just trash. Somebody oh, yeah. would be into it. You know, mm-hmm. the Staten Island firefighter definitely people would be into that. Right. That would be yeah. Every but, category on porn exists. True. Mm-hmm. Because everybody's in a sum. Guys, I got dates. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I want to tell you about my dates. If you liked Ari Shafir Jew, you're going to love my new hour. And unless you were like a really religious Jew who liked hearing about your... It, there's no more Jew stuff in there. You know, maybe one joke. But I got Dallas, uh, the d- d- December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd uh, at Hyenas. Tickets are on sale right now. Um, in January... And then that's it. I'm disappearing. In January, I got Pittsburgh, the 13th through the 15th at the Improv. Uh, 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 Salt Lake City, January 20th through the 22nd. Shows just added on the 22nd. Um, Tampa, Florida, February 2nd through the 4th at Side Splitters. Denver Comedy Works. Ooh, yeah, Denver Comedy Works. Uh, February 16th through the 19th. Guys, I'm doing a greatest hits week. All my best hits at the Denver Comedy Works. I'm trying something. 
Greatest hits. It's not my new stuff. It's all my old stuff. Hit after hit after hit. December 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th in the greatest city with the greatest comedy club in the world, Denver, Colorado. The Comedy Works. I'm excited about that one. Uh, March 2nd through the 4th, San Jose Improv. Making my triumph return. First time in a long time. And then March 24th, the Beacon Theater in New York. Pre-sale will start. Stay up to date. Stay on, you know, everything and and follow me so you can find out when the pre-sale starts. It will start soon, in the next few weeks, I think. Um, you want to be able to get tickets right away and get tickets up front. That's going to be a massive show. And then I got, you know, the UK. Uh, that'll be announced soon. UK and Europe. Guys, let's get back to the episode. But don't forget, get tickets. See me on the road. We have stepbrother porn. It's my favorite. Yeah, Raina's yeah. in charge of the step porn yeah, category. Yeah, the family porn. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, where's my dad? He's not here. Oh, oh wait, I guess you don't, you know, it's just one way. Well, Raina just recently revealed that she has like a secret step family and she like had a crush on one of her stepbrothers. I didn't I, say I had a crush on one of my stepbrothers. I said he was hot. There was one time we were in a hot tub together and I thought. What? <laughs> we were naked in a hot tub. When he was inside me, I realized he actually is attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Have people been sending you this TikTok? No. Oh, people just, anytime we talk about something, there's something on the internet related to it. So they'll start DMing it to us. It's just this girl realizing her stepbrother's on. And people oh are like, God. show this to Raina. Oh my God. Um, all right. Well, I hope somebody sends it to me. Okay. So you have dildos. Do, do, do you guys want, when, when you're hooking up with some dude, do you want him to be like, go to the nightstand and pull something out? Or are you just like. I mean, not, I think it's one of those like, when the moment's right, not every time. I, I know, think but, it can be fun. Okay. Yeah. So if you are doing it and he just reaches over, is your thought like, oh. Or is it like, mm. I think that it can be fun to watch somebody masturbate. So like, I like the idea of like putting on a show and like, that's how you like start the sexual experience. Like, somebody can watch you with the vibrator. Um, there's what do you a, mean? Someone watch you? Yeah. Like I put on a show. Um, I think there's a lot of women that cannot come unless they have like very direct clitoral stimulation. So it's nice to like, while you're riding somebody to like have a vibrator. You want the guy doing clit. it to you. I can do it to myself. Like yeah. they can watch or they can do it to yeah. me. It is hot. I it like a hot. cock ring. We're working on a cock ring. Cock ring. A vibrating cock ring? Mm -hmm. Keep the guys involved too. Well, because I mean, from from when I started using cock rings, like dabbling, the first guy that introduced me to one, I mean, it was for like both of your pleasure. It's like for your clit and for his. Yeah, vibrating cock ring. Like, you should get a yin yang cock ring <laughs> <laughs> to go with that. <laughs> to, like, who knows? Like, Boners and softies, they're all the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we're working on a butt plug and mm -hmm. yeah so I, that's that's where i'm into it and then just the extra when you just need a little extra like a little bullet is vibes great. only the bullet is, is nice because you can also take that with you and we have mm -hmm. so what we love is this we're releasing this um for the holidays is should we talk about this i don't know yeah sure yeah, why, why not, not? it's what a it's a bullet and then it has these sleeves on it so it's like you can change up the shape and one like has a little finger loop and then the so you basically have this bullet on your oh. finger and then it has like a textured finger pad. Oh, so on your great. finger, like a, like a sewing thing? What yeah. You... Yeah. Like, right. uh, it, well, I mean, basically you just put your finger through the loop and then the little pads like the sewing thing. Yeah. Wow. Because I once so had this. It's just a super powered finger. So wow. I had this guy, this, this sex toy company so many years ago Whoa. send me like it was a. I mean, this was years ago. They've probably revamped even what this is, but it was like a little battery pack that the guy would wear on his wrist and then two finger pads that vibrated. So he just basically had like two vibrating fingers all around. This is like I that, used it on a first date. Marvel, this guy was like, what is going on? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's Wait, really so fun. Wait, so he had those on his fingers and he's just like, wow, that's fucking, that's nice. And it was nice. a first Tinder date. Like that guy was just like, what is happening here? Because I realized very early in the date I like, wasn't into him. So I'm like, let's just try this new toy out that I got. Like, I never talked to him again. He, That's great, especially if you know you fuck on the first date. You're like, "Hey, I'm just going to use you. Get out of this. If I fuck you right now, we're not going to take each other seriously." So yeah, it was a fun, place. like little experimental. Yeah, yeah. He so called you for months. That's he called you for months because it was so, a lot. He was like, "This chick was wild." Well, I think he also realized, like, yes, and like I didn't give a fuck. Well, I didn't like him, so we probably even, you know, sometimes that's what a guy mm -hmm. wants, like the chase. For you to not like him. Oh yeah, I like when you but actually, fuck him yeah. and then just treat him. Like yeah. bye. Like yeah. it was. I mean, you like what? I like when you don't. You're not really into somebody, and you're like, I can just do anything. I'll just That's whatever. That, I was fucking yeah. my neighbor, and I was just like, I didn't even ask. In your I building? Was, yeah, it's not. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's so dumb. <laughs> 
I know, Ari, and I fucked him like the month I moved in. Oh. Like a me, I didn't even wait. Should have been bed. I didn't have a bed. I, I, a bed. I had a mattress on the ground. We fucked oh. on the ground, and then we fucked for like a while. I had to ghost him during COVID. Like, oh during my god! The when he's like, oh, perfect, we're all locked in. But I definitely had this chick who's willing to bed yes, in my came, building. He was coming over like every day with like a case of beer, and he was drinking like twelve beers and getting all fucked up and being like, "Do you want to?" Didn't he sit on your around? couch naked? He sat butt naked on my white couch. Oh no! After we fucked, I didn't come. He was always like half hard because he drank so much but one day I was blowing him and I was like I wonder and then I just grabbed this vibrator out of my nightstand and I started like rimming his butthole and his taint with the vibrator because I always wanted to try doing that and I don't fucking care about this guy so it's nice like the stakes are low yeah but that's what you get with talking dirty you don't care it's like let's just do crazy shit I know you know what what you run into sometimes with people I I noticed this towards the end of my my last relationship the sex always included like you're a dirty little whore you're my little fuck doll all that I was like can we ever switch it up do i always have to be a whore every time sometimes it's too much i can't really don't guys go to the same routine after a while it yeah. becomes the same well, stuff you have to go to lines exactly. go- not everybody's an expert at i called like- somebody a pig once and she was like whoa what that is the i, like, I, I use that know. when i really hate somebody you're well you pig. thought you were being sexy pig. yeah i was like you're fucking whore you're fucking little pig and she's like ew <laughs> that's a me a little pig is what- crazy yeah i don't little know what piglet? i said it was not great how did she react she stopped are you into dirty talk like are you just saying whatever yeah sometimes yeah if it's, especially if i don't know them then it's like let's go for it and also what are you doing <laughs> fucking me you are a filthy fucking whore you don't even know me <laughs> you fucking skank can i tell you What's something about your you? um your special <laughs> what when well, you were talking about girls getting their period uh-huh. so i did this was like what i was probably like 19 or 20 i was fucking this dude and i got my period and like he literally was like Oh no, he told me, he was like, I think I knocked it loose was the <laughs> phrase he used. Like, I was like, you have no idea how bodies work, but he was so proud. And I think when I watched your special, you said like hitting the back wall, but yeah. he said I knocked it loose. <laughs> like it's a You're little like, You don't tat. think it was going to get loose? Like it was a loose tooth, but it would have stayed in for like another two weeks. <laughs> If not for his fucking plunge. Guys really don't know how that stuff works. They have no <laughs> Nor do fucking we care, idea. But I liked your point uh-huh. that like it's flattering <laughs> yeah, to, it's like, oh, nice. to them. Like uh-huh. I made you start your period. That is really funny. The guys don't know. You, we should all just be out here telling guys that. They'd be like, what? Yeah, just lie to us on certain things. Like, oh my God. Instead of being embarrassed about it, I'd be like, wow, you did it. I killed you it. Did I was it. supposed to start my period for like a week. <laughs> I have an IUD. I don't even get my period. I don't even get my period. You fucking knocked. I might be. I might be fertile now. Knock the I- IUD out. Yeah. Now my period. The tooth analogy is just, just like a little <laughs> tooth up there dangling. I sent somebody a photo of um, Plan B like on my desk, and I was like, "I'm having a great breakfast." And he was like, "Oh my god!" Like I didn't know my like swimmers like went that fast. And I was like, "I'm not pregnant." It's not an abortion it's, pill. It's yeah, a morning after. It's the pill. morning it's after. Not an ab- <laughs> I was like, are you an idiot? Like, you really don't know how this works. He was, like, so proud that he had knocked me up four hours earlier. Uh, like, yeah, I already took the pregnancy test. We've conceived. We've conceived, and I'm, yeah. <laughs> what a also, dummy. Also, you could Venmo Wait, me this $50. That? Oh, I love paying for a fucking uh, morning after pill, but then be like, I need to see you take it. Oh, <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll leave you the 60 bucks, but I need video of today's <laughs> date of you swallowing it. <laughs> There's a I watched uh, Issa Rae's new show Rap Shit uh-huh. and they had a scene like that where this guy sent someone to come to the club and bring her a bottle of Fiji water and the Plan B and they took a photo of her like taking it. <laughs> it took me to process That's what that really scene funny. was about. It was very funny. Yeah. Um, what? So what else is there to use on somebody? Um, is- so we have three toys. We've um, a bunch more coming out and we're yeah. strap ons. We it's done not something yet. we've done yet. So a lot of our toys are for external use. You just like put on your clit. Um, but the new stuff eat. is more penetrated. But the most popular toy is called the Reina, and that's oh, you name it after yourselves. Yeah, that's nice. There's two ends, and you can bend it to insert inside you. But one end is a clit sucker, and the other end's like a vibrator because this a clit sucker. These are like the most. Yeah. It's oh. such such a popular sensation. I mean, it's like mind blowing. It, sucking a clip. It's like this little kind of air pulse flutter feeling. Really? You, it's like a, got a little hole That's so your, your clit kind of goes that. into it. Yeah. Your leg starts to shake. I mean, really? Your it's oh, shocking. Well, nothing hotter than a girl's leg shaking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you fold it like when your clit goes knock in her there. period loose. Goes in there. Oh my God. And then it pulls it out and then and then that goes in you? <laughs> that goes, it can go in you, you can. if you want. I like to put or, it in my butt. Uh, but not in. I like to put it like on my taint. Yeah. And then, but the other end also vibrates. So... People really like both ends of it. 
You guys got to start turning those into microphones and use them on your. Uh, well, on the, your the Ashley looks like a microphone. Oh, look at that! It looks like Nikki's microphone this in her is, special. This is actually my, uh, you're the Ashley on my wrist. Well, we sent one to Nikki and she was like holding it like a microphone. I was like, this is iconic. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Ashley looks like a microphone. Um, that's it. It's yeah. Like a beautiful gold-plated microphone. Damn. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's yeah. the basic one. The big wand that you hold. Yes, it's like a, your basic wand, but it's still better than all the other ones. Has, have you ever had guys use it wrong? Like use one on you and then be like, you're doing, ow, stop. No. Um, I've never had that happen. I don't, I still think guys, not all of them, but some are still a little timid. They're looking to you to tell them how to use it. Some direction. They're not like. Mm-hmm. Oh. Harder, faster, softer. I've never had a guy fuck me with a vibrator ever. I've really? Like, only like, like penetratively like fuck me with it. Like I, maybe like external use. Yeah, I've never had a guy shove a dildo in my pussy. That little bullet thing goes in there and then like pulls out and then goes on your clit and then like... In. Well, so we have this really cool bullet sleeve. So it, it is, you put it on the bullet and then it vibrates and then it does have like two wings. So you, it's for a grip to hold onto it and you put it all the way inside of you and it's got an anchor. Which you, how about this? Just brainstorming again. A real bullet. So if you can't get hard, she won't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> The, we'll call that the Ari. Too much. Okay. <laughs> we have a working name for it. We don't have any names after guys yet. This so. is cool. How long have you had this 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 company? Vibes June. only since June. We launched June. in June. It was like really like an overnight success. People are like really excited about it. Their toys sell and out. And you give all them the permission time. to like get it. It's it's a bit of a taboo thing where it's like you have to go to a store and get one. And like, what do I get? Uh huh. I actually really surprised with the amount of women that tell me they have never owned a vibrator. Women that I have that I know have very active sex lives that are really adventurous and freaky in the sheets to tell me they've never owned a vibrator. And I was at this dinner on Saturday night. I was talking to all these women, and one who I know has had like multiple boyfriends. She's like a freaky little freak. She was like, I just never bought one before. I feel intimidated by it. I don't know what to buy. And I was like, I'm going to change your life, bitch. Yeah, but lots of women never have. Hmm. Um, I think that the experience- They're not that expensive. How much is that one? How much is that fucking tickler that you got me on? What? This one's $115? $115. Yeah. But they're all US dollars? They're also Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. So if you actually started Bluetooth connected, they're like the less expensive than most. Because yeah. it's still like a Bluetooth connection to the app, you know? Oh, right. With a remote control. How much is the app? Like is it a that. service or is it just come with- you have to it's pay a monthly the, fee, yeah. Monthly fee to have yeah. The app. Or you can pay yearly. You save yeah. much money, but and but the, but the remote control is free, and the there's some free content. Free. So you can like still yeah. use it on somebody without that. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, big time. Are you gonna have like more stories coming? Yeah, yeah. every week I mean, we right? have new content every week. Wow. Yeah, you'd have to switch it up. I mean, you have a great voice, Ari. I'll hundred percent do it. Do you do you write it or do I just riff? We, somebody else can write it for you, or if you want to write and you, voice, you just yeah. riff. <laughs> Okay, as soon as I'm done promoting the special and like I have more time, let me re- like really think of like a, how long? That guy went on for like 10 minutes. That's a lot of talking. That's a lot of writing. My hand's going to get sore before your fucking We do. I think out. a lot of them jerk off while they're recording this. You, you, you think? I'm the one that handles all the content. <laughs> I would know. Yeah, I've ha- there is a guy that every once in a while I hear something happening in the room. I hear the chair squeaking. Or I, but like one recently was really it made me feel a little uncomfortable and oh then God. we had to kind of warn our sound editor like this is happening <laughs> this guy's jerking off she's a lesbian <laughs> for a second so it's extra she's probably like jesus christ yeah but he um sent video unrequested he just said you guys will use it if you want it <laughs> um but then one of our voice actors who's been like our star he's been so good he disappeared for months and we were like he may have died like we couldn't find him we couldn't track him down he resurfaced his website today. was down his website was down oh. and he re- We've been like upset. He's done multiple characters. He has multiple voices, and he resurfaced this morning. It's been a great day. Where was he? We don't, we don't know, know yet. You don't we don't know ask. these these people are like we don't know that. Yeah, much you're about a, them. you're an erotic voice actor. You're yeah. not that normal. <laughs> you know, it wasn't this or lawyer. <laughs> like I get so invested. <laughs> like, I get really. I want to know more about them. Like the the, the BDSM guy. Like I'm like, let me see his headshot. Like I want to know more because I listened to hours of their voice. You, you know. Do you hear like slapping, like leather slaps and shit? Do you put that in? Well, in post? so here's the thing. Sometimes they get confused and they don't know that they're not supposed to do sound effects. So we've started removing sound effects from their scripts because we've had people. I would love to do... see a guy go and, and I slap. <laughs> we have the sound effect. I yeah. had a guy that was doing slaps, I and I was like, said. "You don't do the slaps. We put in well, the slaps <laughs> later." <laughs> Who? What'd you slap? What'd you slap? Because I was my gimp. Like, oh wait, what? My name. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. <he's> like, <laughs> yeah. So that's the company. Yeah. Um. That's so cool. Great yeah. for gifts and yeah, Christmas is coming. Yeah. Yeah, and we're we do the what. 
I hey, just can love I ask you a question? Like, I guess you, no. more Christian. You know how you're supposed to kiss under the mistletoe? <laughs> so if you take a girl under the tree, that's you have to fuck, right? You fuck under the tree, you kiss yeah. under the mistletoe. Okay. We're working on a fucking by the tree story. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'd have to do like holiday stuff. We do themes. Yeah. I love to fuck next to a Christmas tree. coming out of an Easter tree. bunny outfit. You do? I've never fucked next to a Christmas tree. <laughs> well, you're not. You're you're Jewish. Oh, yeah, but I've a, fucked a lot of non-Jewish people. She gets down. I just I don't think I've ever fucked well, next to a tree. Well, you have a goal this year. Well, you're gonna be at my house for Christmas. So Do you know what you should try <laughs> that you've never done? Fucking in a bed. I have fucked in beds. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I, if there's a service, I can have sex on it. But Christmas tree feels like family living room. So there's not a lot of scenarios in which I'm. That you're right there, and it's also like let's just go to the couch. We're right by the couch. What are we doing this on the needles? Yeah. My like high school boyfriend, we we broke up when I went to college, but then I came back for Christmas and we did fuck by the Christmas tree. I hope my parents nah, are listening. Nah, and then he gave me a pair of Timberlands. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and he's like, I guess these are for me, but you're gonna have them now. <laughs> um, uh, wait, what was I just gonna say? Have you ever? Do you, do you fucking bathrooms at all in New York? Tons. Rain is more than me. A lot of them. Yeah. It's so wild. It's there's such a, a New York wild thing. Well, there's a lot. Well, there's a lot of individual stalled bathrooms in New York City, yeah. and they're big. Like the bar down the street, Bua is a great place to have sex in the bathroom. I'm trying to fuck in the and standard it, bathroom before I move. The standard is an amazing the place. The standard to have sex. is so sexy. The On the, the East Village standard, it's just like you go all the way downstairs. The vibe is sexy, very like lowly lit, and then there's probably like ten individual stalls, I'll just sneak and in they're there. all really good. I did it at uh, Union Hall once. Yeah. They're like individuals. Okay. Um, and it's co ed, so you're already walking in. It's no yeah. To Combi, I've done some drugs and that I had sex in that bar. And it's just guys you meet that night? No. It's people you already know. It's people I'm already at the bar with. I. That's the wild thing is meeting somebody and then it's like hitting it off. It's like, let's not go. You, what, you live in Brooklyn. I live it's in Jersey. so hot. That's just right it's here. It's pretty hot. I like yeah. the idea of just like, yeah, like rip your pants down and just do it right there. I just, I feel like I need to be in more of a. There's multiple stall situation. I don't like the thought that people are like banging the door down. No way. That's why the standard is perfect because there's like eight stalls. Yeah, no one's yeah. In Individual there, like... locks, like it's to the ground, to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Really yes, needs. yes, yeah. Like Bua, there's two stalls, so like people really do want to get in there. Right. It's. I don't like the thought Sometimes of it. I don't ever... like that. Like people are like get waiting, standing there. I got to come out. Uh-huh. Sometimes I'll knock. I generally don't knock because it's like, yeah, they're going to the bathroom. You know what that door's locked for. But now I feel like with cell phones, it's like you're probably distracted. Yeah. You're probably checking your fucking, do this in the hallway. Taking selfies. There's yeah. a line. Ari, are you having sex in bathrooms? No, only You're once. You're pretty or, big. Only once. What? New York bathrooms are, t- like, they, they are can big. be tight. I would always love, I just never got like the invitation, like, let's go in there. Uh-huh. Except with someone you already know. But that's hot too. Yeah, like, but like, it, I, I think it comes out of Coke too, doesn't it? Like if you go like to do going coke? in there doing blow and then at some oh. point you start making out and it's like let's see how far we can go. Yeah, and that's usually how it's happened for me if you're doing coke and it starts like feeling you up a little bit. Okay. I mean, I think you if you're like if you paid the check and you could be like I'm gonna hit the bathroom on the way out, then you just text them like come down here. Right. Why Only after you paid the like, check. Shut up, <laughs> you don't anyway. have to. But but if you both go down there, you're not sitting at the table for a while. They might clear your table. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They might think you dined and dashed. Yeah, you need somebody. Like, I don't want that on my record. Especially if you have a good table. You yeah, want, you don't want to you leave don't want the come table. You dripping out of your pussy down your legs and having nowhere to sit. <laughs> that too. I've thought about like having sex right before our shows and then like going on stage. I would really like to do that, that someday. Nice. It's like a nice fantasy of mine. I've yeah. never done that. I'll tell you a story after the podcast of that sort of thing happening to someone else. Not you. Not me. Um, that would be cool. I feel like it would be fun Just before the show. Yeah, blown out and then be like, like right then and then be like, hold it for a second, hold one person outside and be like, I'm ready. Like start it. Yeah. 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 I just, I've had, a, I had a situation where I like fucked a guy that came to the show and I like had him come, like had someone go get him, bring him to the green room. I was like, I feel like an athlete. Like, I feel like this wow. is what male comedians get to do. The problem is, as a, as a male, co- if I fuck before the show, then I'm just tired all show. <laughs> then it's like, I need like an hour to like, I feel like it's get my energy back. It's cool, but like you're drained. Yeah. Physically Maybe. drained. Not it's me. like I've come in my hair. No, like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just yeah I don't know I don't know if I want to like have be cummed on and then put my jumpsuit on but what if they're like that comes in I, it's like a popular fantasy of mine that I like fuck in the green room before we go on stage you should do it that would be cool yeah who am I gonna do it with you and Bella <laughs> who's Bella your opener she's our assistant she um tour manager person yeah she does all of our like tour management she's great yeah oh. yeah I mean you'd it would have to be a fan 
You have to know the person. Why else like a venue staff? Why like a hot green? venue guy? Well, Raina fucks the venue somebody. staff. I like Do you the, really? I like the security. She dated a bouncer from a, from a theater. Yeah, he was super hot. Like, what spent state? Christmas with him. Yeah, he's super hot. Huh? No what Christmas state? tree? Uh, no, he didn't have a Christmas tree. Not New Yorker. Not New Yorker, LA. Charleston. Wow. And so you like you hooked up and then like, let's do this again. Yeah. And then I like flew down there. <laughs> he sent me you like this. So we were really drunk. So we stayed. <laughs> we had sex. I was too fucked up the next morning to like go to the airport. So I stayed another night. We went out. We were walking down the street. We saw one of these like holiday stores that sells like the ugly sweaters. And one of them was like a Hanukkah sweater, I guess. Like, And I went back to New York and he asked me for my address. And I was like, uh, OK. And I gave it to him. And he sent me. He went back to the store. Got me I forgot he did that. That's I loving. thought so. Yeah. I thought it was really cute. Um, I and I he did that. I I, I, I wasn't a fan of him, but now I'm kind of like, oh, that was that was cute. It was thoughtful. The, the most baller thing to do would be to fuck one of the staff that night. You meet him there and then just take off and never. You almost, you came close to that. You just decided never to stay to and try to date him. Yeah, you want, you're like, it's like, let me commit. You went the exact opposite. <laughs> a few weeks later, I did fly back down there to Charleston. Yeah, I visited him in Florida. Yeah, we've done a lot together. Oh, my God. Well, if I get dick that I like, I like to go back for repeats. It is nice. You already know the person. You're like, you're into the same thing. Once you know the vibe, it's like. Yeah. Well, she, Raina, it's funny because she's like, she likes to fuck the staff. Like, she's into, like. That's very the like uh, the security guard. The security. Oh, remember I made queen. out with the security guard from the Chicago play from Talia Hall. Remember I, out, I went out with him after the show too. Yeah. That was years in the making. Wow. So we'd seen him the year before, and he was so cute. Did he tell us he had like gunshot wounds? Yeah, he said he got stabbed. You stabbed. were into, you were into that. And you're like, damn, I want to see it. <laughs> Fuck. Imagine working security. It's like who's on tonight? He's like, oh, podcast. You're like, oh, all right. <laughs> And then, like, and you're getting your dick sucked. You're like, what the fuck? I did not see this coming. I said I'd be home early, but I was wrong. Some podcast? Yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be this nice little sit down, calm yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. my God. The staff at venues is always really blown away because they, they think it's just a podcast. And, of course, we have, like, dancers and strippers, and they know some of that's happening. But staff is always really blown away by the show. I'm yeah. sure. Because also, the like, energy. they don't know. They don't care. They're like, we see every different show from every genre. Night mm-hmm. by night, it's wrapped mm-hmm. to fucking one guy with a guitar to a podcast. So yeah, like, I don't know. and they're like, "Oh, this is actually a good show." Yeah, we get that a lot. You guys are amazing. Their energy is crazy. I'm sure there's like, uh, "Wait, wait, don't tell me" type podcasts. They're like, Ugh, "Oh, so and then, fucking dry." Yeah, you know? and that then was we had um, the one. This was last year in I think Minneapolis. We would bring we brought uh, a girl's Bumble profile up. And she matched with a guy, <gasps> and he was worked at the venue. He, oh. he comes out on stage. It was unreal. <laughs> Wild. He was like, cute. He was so cute. We, I was like, this will never happen again. This is insane. Uh-huh. We had we and we did Bumble in another city, and this this uh girl matched with this guy. We got him to come down to the venue, Get and down. then Raina ended up dating him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> For months, and then I started fucking his friend, and then we had to break up with him together. Yeah. Yeah, that's really that's nice. That's it a was nice, nice together friendship story. I would really not enjoy it if she was dating somebody who was like best friends with my ex. It's yeah. like a bummer. Not that that guy was like a serious relationship, but it's a bummer. But then he's asked like, "How's Reina?" He's like, oh, "Dude, come on." <laughs> well, he, he was fucking, like flying to come over. see me. I was like, "You can't come anymore." I was like, "You knew what this was." <laughs> you wanted it too much. You this can't a, want it too this much. Was this a double was a double date, date situation or nothing. Yeah, it's both of us or none of us. <laughs> um, damn. Where do you guys got to go after this? Like in life or on, lo- on the road? <laughs> oh, no. Ari, have you had a threesome before? I've had two. How did you like it? The first one was really... S- no, the first one was great. Okay, two girls? Two girls. Only done two girls. And it was it was a chick that I had hooked up with a few times, and then she found a chick that she had hooked up with a few times, and she was like, are you down for threesome? And she was like, yeah, always. And so she was like, all right, let's do it. So she kept me in my other... Were you ever in my other apartment? The mm-hmm. backyard? No. Um... She was like, wait out here in like the common room, you know, the living room. And then I was like, okay. And I just kind of waited there for a while, like calming down because I was so nervous. Yeah, it's nerve wracking. nerve wracking. I don't think everybody's like, I know how to definitely do this. I'm going to be great at this. And then after mm-hmm. like a while, like 15, 20 minutes, she just like, the one I knew pulled her head. I was like, all right, come on in. And then it's like, okay. And then I like concentrated on the one I knew for a while. And then eventually like a little the other one. And then, and then she just goes, will you fuck you stick your fucking dick in whatever her name is, you know? Oh, wow. And I was like, yeah. And then it was just on. It was just on every which way. Okay. And it didn't matter anymore. You just like, 
you just it's up to you wherever you, you want to go. Stuff, you pick your adventure. She told me not to overthink it too. She was like, That's a I good was like, how advice. do you do it? What do you? She goes, let it happen. It's you, don't think about it. I feel like I would think about and it. And then would... the second one, not as the good. second one was was super hot chick, like out of my league hot, uh, with another girl that was fine, and the other girl that was fine gave it her all, and the super hot chick just quit in the middle. What do you mean she quit? She's like, I'm tired. I'm fucked out. And it was like, well, and she's just out. laying there. It's like, well, fucking pl- play with my balls or something while this chick's riding. Like, get, I don't know. Who are you quitting? Yeah, it's hard. To, it, the you fuck are you doing? But out, how yeah. long until she tapped 10, out? 15 minutes. Oh, my gosh. It's like, no, no. Not we're having hours. a threesome. This is a long thing. Uh-huh. And as the guy in a threesome, you have to be like, do not come. How do you not come for how long do you? How long? You just have to stop you, fucking. It's like, I'll go down on you guys for a while. Yeah. I mean, if I, you're at all close, you have to like, don't, 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 don't touch, don't it. touch like, it. Like, we have to go for a while. Okay. I do feel like threesome is a longer commitment. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can't, you shouldn't be, if you can't hang for an hour, maybe you shouldn't sign up for it. What the it. fuck are you doing? An hour. It was so disappointing. <laughs> did you have, did you just like watch the two of them together for a little while? Yeah. You watch a little, the two of them, you'll lay there for a minute and just like kind of watch and just like as they're like, you know, whatever. And then you're like, I feel like sticking it in. So you just get up behind and like. Uh huh. Even if she was fucked out, she could have watched. She could have watched. That's what I'm saying. Just fucking play with my. Do something. Play with your Grab balls. her tits. Yeah. Yeah. Sit on her face while you fuck yeah, the other girl. Yeah, sit on her face. Too hot. You have to try too that hard. hard. Yeah. yeah. No work ethic. Yeah. None. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to develop a personality. Yeah. I've always been like right in the middle. So I don't have, have a you personality. done them? You've done them? You've both done them. I, no, I never have them. So wow. Boring. I what? know. And you? It's yes. embarrassing. <laughs> Two girls, two guys. Uh, a girl and a guy. So two girls, one guy. Yeah. Um, really, what I want—I wanted to fuck this girl's boyfriend. Is really all I wanted. So I wasn't like, like I wasn't like so into like having a threesome. That's not like so fun for me. I just I don't. I like to focus on one person. But I really wanted to fuck this girl's boyfriend. It was late at night. We were at his place, and I was like, I bet I could get her to like invite me into this. And so I kind of suggested it, and then I started like making out with her. But um, then we go Smart. into the, we go into the bedroom, and she kept trying to touch me, and I kept like smacking her hand off of me because like I just wasn't <laughs> trying to hook up with her. Oh, uh, you like, gotta make her feel good. Yeah. It, and then they, sh- sh- he was fucking me, and they were a couple. And he was fucking me and she like really didn't like it. Yeah, and you I mean, could tell in the middle of it she really didn't like it. And then they started hooking up and she like was not trying to have me be. And I, I left and then I was all fucked out. I mean, she probably what? felt the energy. Like she probably brought you in thinking that, you, of me that you guys you were going to. That it was going to be equal. And then yeah. re- soon realized that you didn't give a fuck about her. You were just no. trying to fuck her boyfriend. I yeah. tried the first one I tried. It was in Fort Lauderdale and this chick was like flirty. And then her friend, a lesbian friend, was like, yeah, she's always had a thing for me. And I was like, hmm. And I couldn't separate them. I talked to Diamond <laughs> David Lee Roth once, and he goes, I've never understood how to separate uh, two girls, like get one away from another. It's just an It'd impossible be hard. thing. Yeah. So Ashley I was like, and I are good. One of us will leave. Yeah, okay, you can separate the shit out of us. You're friends, and you know it. Like, you're both <laughs> we're, very we're dying to be it. separated. <laughs> but I took them both, and I walked past this like outdoor bar. Rogan was there, and he was like, he saw me leaving with two, just like, walking past two girls. Like, what are you doing? I was like, trying something. And then we got to my room, and then one was just done. And then the one who's like, maybe I'll come back. I was like, fuck. The one left, and so the other the the friend was like, left I gotta drive her? her home. Yeah. That like, sucks. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, that's girl code, I guess. I don't know. Ashley and I are always trying to be separated. Yeah. But we're together seven days a week. I like yeah. the idea of you fucking or, or getting fucked or whatever. And eating out a girl, like the guy pushing you into yeah, another girl. That's my fantasy of it: is a guy's behind me and like I'm going down and somebody, or yeah. I'm just laying on my back watching the show and someone's going down on me. That's actually the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. ordering room service. You're ordering room service. You're just, just like, no, 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 you guys are good. We're sharing a room. Pussy, it doesn't yeah. matter. Don't, don't let this stop you. <laughs> Have you guys seen this episode of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Property Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> We, I had a, I had shows in Denver this past weekend, and a thruple came, and I felt so cool. Three people came for you. It was like a thruple. Like he, this man was married. He said he'd been married to the one woman for twelve years, and then the new woman one year. I'm like, this is, oh is this gosh. legal in Denver? And they wanted you, or just they, they just no, they just hot. came to the show. It was one of them's wow. birthday. I was like, oh, I love. I, That's this. wild. A polyamory is like, what are you doing? But it's I, hard enough with one. I loved it. I, I felt cool. I was like, you know, most of they were like middle-aged like they weren't just like young women wow. which i love them too but i was like oh my i have such a diverse audience I, it's really you love to see it i saw somebody walking in domino park it was one woman two men one guy on either side linked like a chain link fence the three of them head held high never looked proud and she was way older than me like 50 55 love um it. also ari you're what i think 
Was Ari the first person that we talked on our podcast about like open relationships and like non monogamy? Was it you? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Have you ever done that? I've never had an open relationship. I don't know if I could handle it. I it's. I was gonna say I don't know if I could handle it. Means you've never even tried. I've tried cheating on people. That's nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> um, you know what? I, for me, the sex part is not the part that bothers me. It's so every time we, every person we've talked to about open relationships has different like boundaries, like yeah. no dates, no sleepovers, no whatever. Sleepers, I, I was a third for a girl, and she goes, "I'm all sleepover." I'm like, sweet. Yeah, I mean, I don't like when anybody sleeps over, anyways. Yeah. Um, but I feel like for me, I could have non-emotional sex, but the idea of my partner going to a bar with somebody and like, like. Touching each other yeah. and like laughing together, that I really the problem is, I get it, but the with. problem is like it's like you can't just be like, come over, suck my dick, and leave. Right. You'd be like, come on, don't fucking be a dick. Don't be a jerk. I guess it's just like, like treat him with you, a I little guess it's respect. Just like, I don't want to know then. Yeah. Yeah. Like, then I don't want to know. know about it's like, don't fall in love with the, them. The but inside at the same jokes time, like, you guys have. Yeah. Right, right, right. But like, there's gonna be an in between between like really connecting and just like not being a jerk. How do you, but I don't know how to stop it. If I like somebody, I like somebody. I, my, I can't tell my brain, like, don't like this person. Because then my brain's like, but I'm going to like them so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's even, I mean, very few people are so just mechanical with the sex. I mean, there is intimacy. Like, even I have, yeah. like even when I have a one-night stand, we're, like, cuddling at some point sometimes. Like, intimacy just kind of can yeah. come with the territory. I mean, you got so, for a yeah. minute or two. It's like, it's common. Especially if you have rough sex. It's like, you got to hold them for, a, like, a little bit afterwards. <laughs> you got to yeah. hold them for you a know? little. That's what happened to me in Greece. I was like, I feel <laughs> fucked up. I feel like my neck Can you hurts. hold me for a little? <laughs> it was the best, though. When you're a third, she was just like, uh, are you doing anything Tuesday? And I'm like, yeah, I can't. I have spots. It's like, uh, how about uh, Thursday? I'm like, uh, I, I, she's like, oh, I can't that day. And I'm like, Wednesday, like lunch time. like, okay, yeah. And she's like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll take a long lunch. Okay, cool. And then just come over, like, let me shower real quick. It's fuck. It's and let me get out of here. It's a lot of people to coordinate. Lunchtime, fuck. I think yeah, because everybody it, has to leave. They have a heart out. It's yeah. so clinical. Well, I mean, we just we but just like came from a recording with a sex therapist, like psychotherapist, mm-hmm. sexual mm-hmm. expert, and just w- women, po- w- women that were polled, ninety one percent of women. Well, their least favorite part, not least favorite part, but their favorite part is not the penetration of sex. 91% of women would not say their favorite part of the sexual experience is the actual penetration. And we were like, guys hearing that stat might be like, what the fuck? Like women like more like foreplay, intimacy. So it's, you know why? It's because they're stupid. It's literally the opposite. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Good point. It's because we're stupid. We're like, it's you're stupid. Uh, 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 oh yeah. We have to go. We have to go vote for women's rights. Are you going to vote? Congrats. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up, guys. Vibes only. Vibes only dot com. Vibes only dot com. Vibes only dot com. The app. There it is. Apple, Get Android. The app. There it is. Get the lube. There Get the blow is. gel. There it is. Yep. And then the um, for the holidays, more to- another toy is coming out. Are, your audience has to be like primarily men. Probably, but like, they can that's get That's what I'm saying. They get the buy blow this, gel. Buy this for your girlfriend. Buy yeah. the blow gel. We have a set that's blow gel, lube, and massage oil. Like that is the trifecta for the bedroom for the holidays. That's great. You have a package already And the, the panty. Website. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. All the things. Yeah. That's nice. You need a prenup in there too. <laughs> we're gonna we believe in prenups we're gonna draft too. prenups. Yeah, yeah, that's me part of the package. There's yeah. a lawyer. It's the premium. I package. really want to do one of these stories down the road when I have time. Just send the audio. I mean, don't use it if you don't use it. But like, we're, we'll use it. Okay. Rain will listen to it. I feel, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we'll call the whole thing. Like, call, call it Jew. Call like your special. Has, we'll just call it the Jew. The Jew. That'll be the whole thing. It'd make me want to joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so hot. <laughs> you just complain the whole time. Yeah. Uh, it's this position okay for you? I don't know. It's like it's hot in here, right? Should I put the air conditioning on, guys? If you're listening, excuse the air conditioner, but it's just too hot. Talk about your mom a little yeah. bit. Yeah, she's calling again. I just want to do my own thing. And at the end, you knock her period loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, you're bleeding all over me. This can't be sanitary. Um, Girls Got to Eat is a podcast, one of the funnest podcasts oh, around. Everybody, thanks. tune in. These girl, these guys are great. Uh, I can call you guys because you're not trans. You try to call a trans woman guy, they get upset. That spiraled. We say guys. Yeah, yeah I just say guys. Yeah, all, I do yeah. too. Start every you can't episode say it to a trans guys. woman. They read into it. I put fun that reads Well, we it. are not You have to be trans. very careful. <laughs> yeah. So these guys are great. <laughs> um, yeah, check them out. I get all this fucking, yeah, start experimenting, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Ari. For Christmas. You're welcome. Bandit, let's go put you in daycare. Oh, my God. You're so <laughs> Let's
that's the episode. Thank you very much. Raina Juberg and uh, Ashley, uh, you know, Gentlestein. Um, so I mentioned, so, so that is interesting. All that stuff about, you know, vibrators. Go get go get a vibrator for them. That, that's, that's cool. What a cool business project. So I meant to tell you, when I was in New Orleans, I went to a, a record store, Louisiana Music Factory, New Orleans. And I bought, I found this album, uh, Louis and the Good Book. It has in there uh, a bunch of stuff about gospel. This album included here was among the pop intended productions Decca put out into the market in the mid-50s. Louis Armstrong, trumpet and vocals, plus the all-stars and choir arranged and conducted by Cy Oliver. The reason I tell you that is because song three on this version, there's a blue cover also with one song missing, I think Dear Old Southland on the second track. Song three on the front side is Go Down Moses, the song that I paid too much money um, to close out my special. Louis Armstrong charged a certain amount, and then Cy Oliver, here you see it, and the Cy Oliver Choir charged 25% more. And because they have favored nation status, they had to pay both their, ugh, I don't understand how it's both. But anyway, the point is, I got Go Down Moses, the song I went out to on my special, on vinyl. I gotta make a vinyl for my, for Jew, don't I? I choose a cover. Joan and the Whale, Sometimes I Feel Like Motherless Child. There's a song I want to go out to here because uh, I realized later this song would have also, I'm happy with the song I went out to on my special. Go Down Moses is is just like, the reason I used it was, I should do a commentary track for Ari Shafir Jew. Maybe I'll do that for the last Lapis episode of the year of Skeptic Tank. Um, didn't it rain? Didn't it rain? I think that's the one. Swing low, sweet chariots. Didn't it rain? It's about Mo. It's about Noah. It's about Noah and the flood. Uh, I could have gone out of that because that was my last uh, my last bit in the special. Um, didn't it rain? I'll go out with that from the, for this podcast. Um, just so you can hear it. I'll play it right now. But guys, for real, thank you very much for everything. Uh, Three million plus hits is, is is a massive amount. I was expecting that after like, uh, I mean, by the end of the year, maybe, and and I got it in ten days. That's it's crazy. Yeah, a lot because your support, you know, commenting in there. Keep keep doing it. Tell your friends about it. Keep telling your friends about it, and a lot because of you know. I guess people liked it. They sent it to people. People have watched it multiple times. It's, it's cool, though. The compliments I'm getting from comedians are is cool. Um, yeah, I worked hard, so I'm glad people noticed it. Anyway, go jerk off, everybody. That's the important thing. Go use a fucking vibrator of some sort. Stick it up your fucking pussy, and and and, and let it vibrate until you jizz, until you jizz, girl jizz, into your panties. Panties has to be one of the Crudest, most disgusting words there are. Hmm. Um, all right. Again, my dates. Dallas, Pittsburgh. Dallas, Pittsburgh. Salt Lake City shows added. Um, Tampa. Vancouver. On sale now already. Uh, I think Seattle might be coming uh, right before Vancouver and at the end of February. San Jose um, and New York City, March 24th. Tickets will be on sale. The pre-sale will start soon. So um, that's it. And then I got Europe and uh, and the UK coming in uh, last week of April and all of May. Maybe the Middle East. We'll see. And I think I might try to go to Edinburgh again this year. I'm, I'm 70-30 going to go to Edinburgh. Um, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next week. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later.